Okay, uh, we are in a fantasy battle report right now, 2500, getting ready for a tournament that's coming up. No special characters and uh, no power scroll for the rules. Um, here's my list that I have. A warp fire thrower with 35 clan rats, a unit of slaves, unit of slaves, uh, 30 plague monks, 35 clan rats with a warp fire thrower, 9 gutter runners with poison and slings, 9 gutter runners, poison and slings, help hit abomination, uh, for heroes, I got a plague priest on a plague furnace, an assassin, BSB, a warlord is my general on a bone breaker, and a suicide seer. And my opponent is dwarves. What do we have for dwarves? Alright, well, we have a uh, ruined up uh, grudge thrower, uh, assault gunship, thunder units, two organ guns, a unit of uh, quarrelers, a unit of iron breakers, and a unit of long beers. And for the characters, I have a uh, uh, general dwarf lord, another dwarf lord with a BSB, and a runesmith. Okay, um, and we're actually playing all the real rules today, and I have zero terrain in my house other than woods and uh, things like that. So the terrain we rolled was seven pieces, and we have an altar of cane is this 40K terrain with this big old blue guy in it. A building is the box of clan rats. An arcane ruin is the crashed UFO. A temple of skulls is the book. Good book, by the way. Pick it up if you like Skaven or Empire. Um, the SpongeBob is a sinister statue. SpongeBob Chia Pet. And a mysterious forest and a hill. Uh, so we're going to set the table up and get back to you after turn one. Okay. Okay. Uh, just got done deploying. Um, we have the, uh, like a spearhead type deployment uh, with the reserves and everything like that. Here's what it looks like. Uh, I went first. I've got my plague monks, my slaves with the suicide seer, he's just naked, clan rats with a warp fire thrower, abomination, uh, my warlord, BSB, and this clan rat unit with a warp fire thrower, um, slaves, I still have to deploy my scouts, and over here we have the gyrocopter. You start six inches apart, which is kind of weird in this. But you have the gyrocopter. Uh, what are these? Those are long beards. Long beards with a hero lord in them. Mm -hmm. uh, iron breakers with a BSC. And a lord. Uh, organ gun. Thunderers. Yeah, and there's a rune smith in there. A rune smith. And uh, a grudge thrower. He's choosing to indirect at me. And um, he rolled reserve for an organ gun and uh, some more quarrelers, which is awesome. So here's an overview of the table. Now you can see the building, you know, the altar, the other altar, you know, all this terrain back here. And it's pretty open, and basically he's making me come to him. And he's an asshole because he put SpongeBob right smack in the middle of my line, and I had to deploy around it. So uh, I got first turn, and... We will see you at the end of that. Okay, extremely productive first turn. Um, everything moved up. That was about that. The Grey Seer managed to channel off of the Arcane Ruins, um, but I rolled a two for dice, and everything's out of range anyway. Uh, Abomination made it pretty far. These guys killed the Gyrocopter, thank God, because that thing would run around and smoke me for the rest of the game. Uh, going on to 1.5 now. Okay, uh, dwarf turn one. Four wounds on the abomination. That's it. Nothing else. Uh, his reserves came on, because reserves can do that here. And, um, awesome. Yeah, my turn. Okay, my go. Um, again, everything else moved up. I got a Plague and a 13th off, but he spell broke them both. The Gutter Runners took 
18 shots there, didn't hit a single time. And these ones took 18 shots there and hit seven times. So the first group is going to get fired. All right, uh, his turn two. Dwarf turn two, I believe. He smoked that unit. He was going to land it right on my warlord. Uh, scattered backwards six inches and crunched 21, no, 19 of the guys. So, going on to uh, my three. Okay, my house smells of dwarf flesh. Um, smoked, just absolutely killed things on this turn. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the battlefield here. The abomination actually died last turn. Turned into rat swarms. The rat swarms charged there and got wiped out. I was able to sacrifice my warlord on the Temple of Skulls, and he is now weapon skill 9. The gutter runners took out the stone thrower, hiding back there. So that's good. Um, and the big money maker on this turn, which might have made me lose a friend, is I plagued there. And out of 22, he lost 11 from Plague. And then at 13th, and he lost 11 more. So his Iron Breakers have been bent over the table, and uh, my Suicide Seer is about to kill himself. So, um, his turn three. Okay, we just finished turn three. Um, pretty bad dwarf turn, actually. He needed a, a big, big money here. He killed off a bunch of those clan rats. But they're good. Actually, I didn't take my panic check. Yeah, They're good. Hopefully. Hang on. Seven. Yeah, they're good. Okay. So, killed off a bunch of those. He charged there. And won combat by a long shot, but thank God for steadfast. And he did four wounds to the furnace. And the priest actually made two ward saves. And uh, that was his turn three. And just real quick, because... Um, we need to get thoughts on this. Andrew, what are your thoughts on Steadfast? <laughs> Fuck Steadfast. <laughs> so, we have some some big problems. It's official, man. This will be the last time I ever see Andrew. Uh, yeah, so, uh, my four. Okay, uh, just finished my uh, four. And um, we had a pretty cool turn. Uh you know, sorry for the camera on this. I suck with this camera. My first live action video, you know. I usually do pictures. Um, okay, here's what happened. We moved these guys all out of the way so that this stuff could come in soon. Um, I sacrificed my warlord again to the Temple of Skulls, and he got plus one attack. I had a warp fire thrower in the way back here, so I charged him to get out of the way on a desperate attempt to get here. He rolls a 12, and he makes it. It was awesome. Of course he's going to die. The clan rats came in to flank. Um, I still lost combat by one over here, which really sucked, but my suicide seer got killed. And the piece de resistance, these fuckers, failed charge to there. That's like two inches, and they failed charge. Clearly it's like eight, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and it... It was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. Uh, and that was my turn. So, we'll see what happens. All right, his turn four. Okay, into his four. Uh, here's what happened. He cleaned up this unit with pretty much all of his shooting and did a wound on the BSV. Right there. Um, what else? He killed the slaves here. Uh, then he won combat and uh, slaves exploded. And um, did no wounds except for to the monks. And uh, he free reformed because he won to face the clan rats. So we're going on my turn five. 